Hey everyone, Jonathan here from Wild Cockatiel Games, Unity Game Programming for Beginners, and it's actually been quite a while since I've made a video, so I want to get back into things, and I thought a great way of doing this would be making a super exciting video on what's the difference between float and double variables in C Sharp. Woohoo! So uh, let's get right into it. I made a new script here called demo, and I, since it's easier to show than tell, I'm going to create some sample variables here. I'm going to create int million, spell it right, equals 1 million. And then I'm going to create some float, uh, well, a float variable and a double variable. So basically, both a float and a double variable are variables that use decimal points, as opposed to an integer, which will, cannot have a, a, a decimal point. If I put a decimal point here, I would get an error. So let's just call this float f equals uh, million divided by 3.3 f and double d equals million divided by 3.3. So immediately, here's one difference is when you're dealing with floats, you have to put the letter f behind any number that you're using or else you'll get an error. Doubles, although they're decimal places, you do not have to put the letter F in them. You can just have the decimal point and it will still work. And let's just print this out to see the difference. So if I do print uh, float is F and then a different line, double is D. Save that and we're gonna attach this script onto the main camera and run it and then, then just take a look at the console and sh see what the actual difference is. Okay. So it prints here, float is 3030030.3 and then double is a whole bunch more decimal points. So this is basically the main difference between a float and a double besides having the letter F. It's the number of decimal points that it will print out, that it will calculate. Floats are used for rounding, and they're typically used within game development uh, simply because they do take a little less processing power. And if you're doing a lot of calculations, then just not having those extra decimals to calculate can be a little easier on the run times or on, on the load times on the background of the program, the stuff you're seeing behind the scenes. Typically, you don't need things to be super, super accurate. However, if you do need things to be super, super accurate, then that might be a good time to introduce doubles. So you can use this as well. And if it's a smaller game, a smaller application, you're probably not going to notice any difference. And you might just like using it so you don't have to type the letter F after all your decimal numbers. No big deal. But if you're working on a big, you know, a huge, huge game that's going to have thousands of players and it's going to take tons of development time, then a float just might work better for you. Now, there is one more type of decimal point variable, and that's actually called uh, a decimal. And that has that can have about 25 to 26 digits, so that's really used for scientific purposes and those high-end types of uh, processes. So definitely not something you're going to really need to worry about. Uh, if you want to do more reading on this, there is a helpful link I'll put in the video description. That's on net-informations.com, and it just shows you floats are seven digits long, doubles are 15 to 16 digits long and decimals are 28 to 29 digits long and it gives you some additional information on when you can use them. Uh, that's basically the gist of it. Uh, that is what a float is. That's what a double is. I hope that is informative and I will see you in the next one.